general will call that a tactical retreat, I'm sure. But you have him on the run. That thing he summoned was illicit. Follow it below and find him, before he has a chance to subdue the Night Song again. Better they stay here, and hold the tower should Ketherick's army catch wind of our assault. But if you have room for one lone soldier, I would face Ketherick by your side. You have numbers enough already, I think. You'll want a small force, if you are to finish this quickly. Good hunting. back at you, impossibly wide. A single tentacle burrowed through stone. This is an anithid colony. This must be where they harvest the tadpoles. We're close to the source of the infections. All of this sitting beneath moonrise. For how long and how deep does it go? Carefully, we are very close to the source of the Absolute now. That telepathic storm has become a tempest. They think we're... Uh, friends? Allies? Ugh, the stench! I wonder how many pilgrimages to Moonrise ended down here. <laughs> no will sparks behind his eyes. His mind has been hollowed out to better echo the commands of the Collective. You could kill it, end its miserable life of enslavement. Surely that would be the humane thing to do. Or you could take advantage of its vulnerability and plunder what's left of its hollow mind for anything that could serve you. you realize he means the intellect devourers. Here, the brains are harvested, made part of the hive mind. But there is one, little kitty, dances to another song, same song as you. Locked up, bad kitty. Thinks it is other. No, sorry. Here they become monster. Mon Down deep. One of three. One. Take what's useful and discard the rest. Their 
Jesus.
Mind flayers and civilians, side by side. This must be where they infect and transform those they kidnap. Brine pools, but empty of tadpoles. Unusual. Harvesting all the larvae indicates they are getting ready for something big. It's about time you came. Oh, perish the thought. Every word was nothing less than true. Now, enough sniffing around and get me out of this thing. Do it, and I'll let Will off his leash. A devil always keeps her promises. Your eyes turn to the control panel next to the pod. It has two devices marked with lithid symbols. The controls are open to your tadpole's command, to your authority. The symbol's meaning comes into focus. Annihilate. 
You recognize the marking from the Nautiloid. An illithid symbol meaning unleash. Good work. I'd give you a gold star, but I'm fresh out. As for the pact... <coughs> Clause Z, Section 13. If the Soulbinder consents to separation, she will release the Soul Bearer from all obligation within six months. Six months? We could be long dead before that long's elapsed. Ignorant thing. It's always the terms and conditions that get you. Not going to happen, but I do like your spunk. Right. I'm out of here. I need a long bath. I'll leave you to your very serious business. But don't you fret. If you survive this place, I'll find you. The pup will be needing me. Count on it. Oh, and ask Will how we met. I've loosened his tongue. It's real cracker of a tale. <laughs> Ta-da! General Thorne was attacked. The order to evacuate given. You should not be here. I conclude you are one of the attackers. Trying to pull rank? And yet not a word of concern for our dear General. I shall present your bones to General Thorne as retribution for what you did to him!
Incoming. Take that.
The presence in your mind builds to a roar. We found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Motherfucker! Gortash! Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I have played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough. But what of the astral prison? A rogue true soul flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here. If you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Border's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. Army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! creatures in existence, enslaved by mere mortals. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guests. Behold, Duke Ravengard, the Absolute. Who will preserve us? You wag your word flap in vain, Alderling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Now, 
It's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way! There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. The very fact of your being attests to its power. Despite your infection, you resisted the brain here in the heart of its domain. What good is an army of thralls if they do not obey their master? Let us speak plainly. My Lord Merkel gave me the one thing I desired, the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that, he asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. debt can never be repaid. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... He is...
shit. This is his. Catherick is invincible so long as Night Soul is rotting in his cage. They won't expect this. And Alice! Jimmy on the go.
cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You have no idea what you've done. Uh, Isabel. Fealty. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. The Chosen of Merkel is dead. Permanently this time. Ketherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. Wonder if the gods are watching me. death the body is cooling that energy radiates from the stone remarkable truly and now the picture comes together the absolute is neither god nor man it is the elder brain you saw held here by those three against its will the crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemies are formidable. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me. But the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal. God of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the chosen of the dead three. Bane, Baal, and Merkel. The Tyrant, the Assassin, and the Necromancer. They are known to pick from their most devout followers, a Chosen, granting them incredible powers. 
Each one alone would be a formidable enemy. But working together and controlling an elder brain, I dare not imagine what they might achieve. Hope is a luxury for those who have a choice. This is the battle of our lives, and the lives of everyone in Faerun. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an elder brain, brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind flayers. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Thinking on all. You saw Gortash, didn't you? What the fuck was he doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How? I'd never have protected a Bayonite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast! He has to die! And I'm gonna be the one who kills him! You bet your ass I am! And I won't stop till that fucker is dead! enough what's up for discussion our enemies spread like rub rot treat one patch and two more bloom in its place an elder brain bound by lost netheries magic with servants of the dead three holding the chain <laughs> reminds me of old times aren't you It is good to savor the moment of victory. But pace yourself. Our fight is just beginning. When we met, 
I was licking my wounds. An old bear with her leg caught in the hunter's snare. Now I've slipped free of the trap and rediscovered my claws. It's time for me to hunt my prey. You have a nether stone. And you're on the scent of two more. These chosen have reason to fear you, and I would like to be at your side when you confront them. Glad to be there. Falling foul of Ketherick convinced me that my grand adventures were behind me. That even if I survived, I should hang up my blades. But you convinced me otherwise. We ventured into darkness together. Now we've come out the other side. I'd say I'm feeling a little refreshed. When we reach Baldur's Gate, there will be even darker paths to tread. I will follow you wherever they lead. How does it compare to a shadow cursed inn? With the Absolute's army gone, the Risen Road should be clear. We can follow it all the way to Baldur's Gate. There's a Harper's safe house in Worms Crossing. Dentalan's Dancing Axe. We'd do well to check in with them before entering the city proper. Beyond that, our course is yours to set. I can recall how to take orders, as well as give them. Like in there, in the curse. Try me. Aelin! Isabel! My love! You are dead! I saw your body! I'm here. And... And so are you. And my father, he... He can't hurt us any longer. I dreamt every night that you'd come back to me. That somehow it was all a nightmare Dawn would undo. I had no dreams at all. Nothing but darkness. And when I woke, my father said you were dead. His soul was poisoned by the god of death. His sick devotion ruined him. But for all his sins, he brought you back to me. Are you all right? I will be. And you? In this moment, I want for nothing. Aelin. Aelin, this is... Oh, but we have met. This is the soldier that freed me most valiantly from the Shadowfell. They watched my boot crush the very brain of villainy, and fought well against your changed father. May he rest in peace at last, now that he's dead. I have more to thank you for than I knew, and we have much to discuss. Perhaps we could join you in your camp later? We look forward to it. You there, Sharon. By the fires of your camp's hearth, we will discuss all we must. I'll be ready. Whatever you have to say had better be worth your life. Now you will leave us. We must take succor in one another's bodies and words. Aelin! We'll see you later. One of us. You fair legs are weight. I'm glad that's the case. case. The horizon. I should try to cheer them up. When Duke Elton formed the Flaming Fist, he saw our people of courage and honor to fill its ranks. 
You saved Daniel, lifted the curse, and killed an immortal. It's safe to say you'd have been recruited in an instant. Gruff and intimidating. But he had the courage of ten men, and the love for Baldur's Gate few could match. I don't know if this Duke Ravenguard is the same, but I will say this. The Flaming Fist are the cornerstone of the city, and the Dukes are its foundation. I hope you can save him for the good of Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Thank you. But look at me. I am a relic. A glimpse of history barely strong enough to stand on his own two feet. Besides, Nathaniel should have someone here when he wakes up. It's the least I can do. You don't have to worry about me. The truth is, the shadow fell. Broke something inside me. Something no healer can fix. I don't know how long I have, but because of you, Nathaniel is safe. Because of you, I could help him as he helped me. So, thank you, my friend. And know that I have no regrets. Make haste. You did it. Catherick Thorne is no more. The Shadow's grip is broken. Soon. The land shall heal. Not as glad as I am. Nature moves at its own pace. And bestows its bounty when it sees fit. Give it time. A reward shall come to you. When you need it most. I swear. I can already feel a change in the air. Like the curse itself knows its time is short. I can't say for certain, but we'll see it come to pass long before this place recedes behind us. Don't worry. All is at hand. We can depart whenever you're ready. The shadows yet fester, the dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? No, nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. No. Yes. Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. 